Welcome to this exclusive guide to Rome Total War. Rome is an easy to play game in which you take command of huge armies with thousands of troops in epic cinematic battles. You will also be able to build and manage an entire empire. Throughout the guide, we will have a look at the main nations and cultures in the game, as well as looking at some key gameplay components. So, let's start off by looking at the Romans. There are three playable Roman factions in the game. The Julii family control the northern part of Italy and protect it from the barbarian factions to the north. They are also responsible for the expansion of the empire into Gaul, Iberia and Britannia. The Scipii family are based in southern Italy and the island of Sicily. As the game begins, they are at the vanguard of a deadly standoff between Rome and Carthage, a major Mediterranean trading power during the 3rd century BC. The Brutii family are based in southwestern Italy and provide protection from, and expansion opportunities to, Macedon, the Greek cities and the eastern factions. The Senate preside over the entire Roman Empire from the great city of Rome itself. They are not a playable faction, but they will give you optional missions that will help you to gain influence with them. Eventually, you will have to conquer the Senate in order to become emperor. However, be aware that the other Roman factions will not take kindly to this and you must be prepared to fight a bloody civil war to claim your crown. The Gauls are a barbarian faction who became notorious for their stout resistance to the invading Romans led by Julius Caesar. The Gauls' specialist unit are the Forester Warband who are lethal bowmen and have the ability to hide almost anywhere on the battlefield. The Britons were the original occupants of the modern-day United Kingdom. They are a barbarian faction notable by their savage war-painted woad warriors and use of heavy chariots in battle. The Germans were responsible for one of the largest single massacres of Roman forces at the Battle of Teutoburger Wald in 9 AD. The German specialist unit are the fearsome berserkers, crazed savage warriors from the depths of the Bavarian forests. Carthage is a great trading city that clashed with Rome during the Punic Wars, most notably when the young general Hannibal Barca led his army of war elephants across the Alps and down towards Rome. The Seleucid Empire came into being when Alexander the Great died and his armies split into factions. The Seleucid Specialist Unit is the Silver Shield Pikemen, experts at the deadly phalanx formation. The Greek cities faction represents the great cities of classical Greece, including Athens and Sparta. Their specialist unit is the Red Cloak Spartan Hoplite, feared throughout the Mediterranean as the world's finest warriors. Egypt became a major faction when Alexander the Great died and his general Ptolemy crowned himself king. The Egyptian specialist unit is the Saib Chariot. The Parthians were notable for their victory against the Romans at Carrhae. The Parthian specialist unit are the heavily armored cataphracts. Now that we've had a look at the main factions, let's see how they interact in the game. In this campaign, we are playing as the Julii faction. It is 55 BC. The Roman Republic is rapidly expanding into an empire, and several Roman forces are in action around the Mediterranean and the Black Sea in a grand effort to subjugate the most troublesome of their opponents. This is the Julii faction leader, Gaius Julius, 
the man who will be known throughout history as the first of the Caesars. Caesar is meeting resistance from the barbarian Gauls in northern Italy. Diplomacy has failed. The two factions are at war and a bloody battle seems inevitable. As Julius Caesar attacks the Gauls, you will see that the Gaul army is located in a forested area at the foot of a mountain range. When the battle starts, this is the terrain that the armies will fight on. Before the battle starts, the general will make a rousing speech to his troops. These speeches will analyze the terrain, troop types and both generals' personalities in order to make them relevant to the battle that is about to commence. Also, before the battle, players will have the option of redeploying their troops. Here we see the cavalry being placed out to the left flank and the onagers being put further to the rear of the army. We stand together in the face of adversity. A band of brothers dedicated to the warrior's code of strength and victory. We will never know defeat while we stand together. This day we add another triumph to the history of our people. We will be honored as men. Those men of honor, the Roman Senate, have honored their commitment. Multiple units can be grouped together to make controlling massive armies even easier. Here, the infantry in Caesar's army has been grouped and ordered to march forward towards the Gauls. The Gauls are ill-disciplined and will be much less ordered in battle. All of the barbarian factions will fight in this way. The Roman cavalry has been selected and ordered to charge the right flank of the Gaul army. Each of the units in Rome total war has a special function. For the Roman onagers, this special function makes flaming catapult rocks. Now that the battle has finished, you will notice that the campaign map is updated to reflect the result of the battle.